I think being feminist is a very specific thing uh, that you think that gender inequality exists and that there is something and there are things to be done to try to um, ameliorate it. It's not obvious to a lot of people that gender inequality is still an issue. Particularly, I think for those of us as women who have other kinds of privilege, class privilege, ethno-racial privilege. A gendered perspective takes into view that gender matters in social life and you cannot ignore the fact that gender matters in social life. But a feminist perspective brings in actually a, even a little more. It brings in a commitment to social justice. The web believes that it is only through concrete forms of action achieve its objectives of promoting equality uh, and some of the issues we started off were, were ones that held us together and bonded us uh, um, not just personally but over, say for example, the graduate women's policy um, and that, that held us together. Because they were discouraging women uh, who were less educated to have fewer children, the educated ones to have more children. And uh, even though it would have benefited us individually, our sense of fairness and justice told us that we should uh, object to that policy, and, and we did. The way set itself up to be research and advocacy, nobody was doing that then. We were going to address patriarchy itself. The way patriarchy uses women, the patri uh, way patriarchy treats women, and the whole society is organized to, to, to attend to patriarchal needs, not the women's needs. The stereotypical idea is that a feminist is a bra-burning person, someone who runs around doing you know, this and that and the other. But that's not it, actually. It's somebody who's willing to stick up for the equal rights of men and women. So I was always happy to be called a feminist. Even if we were feminists, we didn't want to call ourselves feminists. We didn't want to wear to be called a feminist. What were you afraid of? Afraid of being labelled this radical, male-hating, we didn't want to be male-hating male women. Being, being sort of overtly, overtly feminist in certain contexts uh, is, is still difficult because people might think you're being too sensitive. Sometimes it's also not strategic to call attention to that. Right? We even had hate mail uh, to the extent that there was a time when I had to go and make a police report because of the hate mail. But anyway, you just have to get over it. They submitted a report, they called it the Blueprinters. And it exploded. And I had these two groups in my executive committee who were both friends fighting each other. And what they really wanted was that for each member to be um, educated, if you like, in feminism. Because they felt people were just streaming into aware without understanding about feminism. Uh, what the blueprinters wanted to do was to uh, conscientize. And I, I think the word itself freaked out a lot of people, but I think it was just to introduce right, feminists to a whole a wide variety of schools of feminism and then um, to, to really um, discuss and decide like, you know, which direction AWARE should take. And an EGM was called. Uh, I think um, most people who did turn up uh, tried, to under, tried to hear what the, the, crit, the, the criticisms were about but basically spoke against it. At that stage in our history, I don't think a radical group could have kept away going. I think away would have lost a lot of members. We all sat there in the front row and said, we are not feminists, we are not a feminist organization. And I say that in my book for, for the longest time, even now when I think about it, I am embarrassed and ashamed of, but all of us said that. It's about equality, uh, justice, uh, fairness, uh, development, peace. 
Those are the broad uh, themes and values I, I use to guide myself. Uh, there are some areas that I might disagree with how we go about practi practicing feminism, but I think uh, broadly uh, I'm able to, to accept that we can have those differences. It's important to have a diverse group of people because then people can show you what your blind spots are. Yeah. So I think of myself deeply as a feminist scholar, even when I'm not writing about gender. I feel a duty to normalize certain things. Yeah. So meaning that when I speak to young audiences, I am aware that how I use certain words and which words I problematize and which words I naturalize uh, and what values I, I enact as if they are natural values, that this matters for allowing them yeah, to say things that, are, that may also be difficult to say or make choices that may also be difficult to make. Then there are so many types of feminism, right? And maybe other people's way of feminism, you may disagree or you may even take offence, right? But if we know that the central values are there, then we have to learn how to work with it, it will, we will be stronger like that.